chug a whole. All right, it's happening. Cheers. Uh -huh. Oh god, I Ooh. spilled and fucked up a little. You're not supposed to do that. Oh damn it! I, I got let that flip sip in the bottle. Uh, I did it. Nice little burp. Nice. The podcast. Welcome to the For the Glory podcast. We're just listening to guitar and drinking beer. How you guys doing? I am Fats. And I'm Mike Spam. Oh, we got a show tonight. God, I wish I could play Special an Monday instrument. show tonight. Special Monday show indeed. Man, you know, like my hands are too stupid to play an instrument, which is exactly why I started boxing. That's awesome. Yeah, I was just about to say, if you could play any instrument, what would it be? Honestly, beatboxing, I, I, I'm I way more of a fan of than playing any instrument at this point. Well, as a musical person, I'll accept that as an answer. Not, I mean, I'm not a musical person. I could kind of play piano, but I'd have to say if I could play anything, I would play guitar. Because I was really good at Guitar Hero. But I have fat sausage fingers that can't fucking play Same, instruments. Man. I don't know how I like, can play I piano. Don't, like I can't I can't stretch my fingers far enough for the chords, so like Yeah, right. That was my issue. I don't know how children can do it though. Like with their little with their little tiny children hands. I don't know. I think well, it's weird because Steve Steve actually played guitar. He um he said when you first start playing, your your fingers get all blistered, and you got to fight through the yeah. pain, because eventually they get calloused, and then it's fine. I don't know. I think they just get used to it. Those exercises, like early on exercises, that's like what they're meant to do is build your finger strength. Like, I sucked at Guitar Hero. I played it, like, perfectly in terms of, you know, normal to hard to, like, very hard and then expert. Like, that's that was my... I thought there was in some of them. They might have added it in a later one, like World Tour, maybe. I don't know. But either way, well, I just what I played was um, was Legends of Rock first or was three first? No idea. I I only played Guitar Hero, and then when Guitar Hero World Tour came out, they added that shit the the drums and vocals and crap, and I'm like, this is Guitar Hero, not Band Hero. That's why I didn't get the other game. I mean, yeah, I kind of had that same thought. When well, half the songs in the game, game were shitty because they went that route. It's like, oh, you have songs that people can sing. It's like, well, they suck for guitar, some of them, half of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, shit, I'm ranting. What the heck? What, what, what are we doing here? We're doing a podcast. Is that happening? Um, what did we... I think that's what we're doing. Nice. What did we... Here, I want to... I would like to say that you did very oddly well with your anime choice. Terrifying. I didn't think it was going to be bad, but I just I had no idea. Dude, when Peanut Butter gave me that story, this was funny. So I I knew, I knew what it was about. Like I knew the 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 what do you call it? The general plot, I guess. Mhm. Mm uh mutant cockroaches the... take over Mars, they send dead fucking people. Yeah. Well, it's it's a little crazier than that. I'd say episode one was so fucking ridiculous. Like, mm -hmm. it was not. Is this from episode one? No, this is like episode like three or four. But episode one is just... Oh, the way they outline the story and they kind of draft... It's kind of just a crazy... Almost got like JoJo vibes from it. Because... Um, okay. It was so fast and crazy. Like, okay, I just gotta spoil it a little bit. Episode one. We, we see you. this. We see this sweet ass, a ripped dude, in a cage, and he's fighting to be. He wants to be the champion so he can get money. The announcer goes this whole thing where he's like, "Oh, he wants to." Oh God, there we go. Hmm. He wants to um. Save his childhood friend who's been plagued with a virus. So he needs a bunch of money. So he said he's made it to the championship round. And here's his opponent who's never lost the champion. And it was some name. 
And then out comes this fucking giant ass bear. Like it was straight up a bear. So oh, it was, it was like, just a bear. Yeah, it was just a bunch of rich people <laughs> in the audience trying to get this guy basically killed for their entertainment because they weren't gonna pay him anyway. Well, I noticed you kept the uh, creepy Captain Falcon. I did keep that. That's a good idea to get rid of. <laughs> 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 fucking Roger, just leaving. <laughs> I just Mark. noticed that. I did not. Uh, where is that? Uh, is Roger around? Does he want to drop by? Uh, probably. We'll get around to it. But this this show. <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's fighting. He's he's fighting the bear. Well, the bear literally, he like gets all super confident. I will save you, and then the bear just wrecks him, and then it's like eating his stomach, like, and he's oh. like dying slowly while the bear's eating him. The crowd's cheering. It's great. Then you know it flashes to memories and crap. And it turns out he's already... There's this huge project to go to Mars and stop these roaches and crazy shit. But yeah, he ends up like getting... He's a, he's like a half bug thing anyway. So he activates that power and he basically is fine. He kicks the bear's ass and then they don't pay him. And then this guy recruits him to go to the mission because apparently his dad went on the other mission. You don't know that. I actually recently found that out. But yeah. Anyway, they pick him to go on the mission. He gets the surgery that uh, 60, it is a 40% success rate or something like that. So they all do it and they survive and they go to Mars. God, I'm just remembering the show, but it's kind of just very gory. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're kind of walking me, but what do you think? Like, what are the, yeah, I kinda what are the high points? What are the low points? I would have to say... The animation looks pretty cool. The animation is what saved it and then made me watch two more episodes than I needed to. I watched five. Okay. It progresses very quickly. The first two episodes are kind of just fucking crazy. The, the background of this is like year 2600 or something like that. So it's in the future. There's a virus plaguing Earth. And they go to Mars to stop the... They need to retrieve samples. It's because... They can't reproduce or cultivate the virus on Earth. And I'd have to say, this show is like a giant science like project or homework assignment. I'm learning so much about bugs and shit. <laughs> I mean, that kind of sounds like I'd be into that. Yeah, it's actually very educational. I can't actually tell if all of it's real, but I really think it is. It's like an endangered b bug. This guy's power is essentially he... And the, the way they explain it is just, they'll go into it how, like, the enemy of the cockroach is the spider, and he was bred with the spider to combat them. It's almost like two di It jumped so, so far, to be completely honest. And wow, that was the next clip I was going to play anyway. It, it, just, it just super speeds. Like, that's why I kept watching it, because... They just jumped from, okay, we're on Earth, then, okay, we're in this crazy Mars ship, okay, we have 30 days to get to Mars, and then all of a sudden, the cockroaches are on the ship and start killing everyone, and there's death. There's a the lot of gore. Cockroaches got on the ship? Yeah, yeah, but then it was like, you you get the feeling that they were put there by the people who sent them there. It, it, it was just ridiculous. And the cockroaches, basically, this is like the third expedition, so the second expedition was a lot of their parents, I guess, that we just found out. And... So it's like a generational thing. This mm -hmm. has been going on for, like, a long time. Yes, it was 20 years ago that the last expedition went. Now the cockroaches have essentially taken... Oh, that, they that, took that their bodies like and took their genetic things. Like, they can't act... They had surgery to get, like, the cockroach organs put in them... And then they use the medicine, and most some people stab them. Some people use like smoke a pipe, and now you got your fucking bug powers. It's kind of ridiculous in that sense. Like, I I kind of have gone gotten to an appreciation of absolutely ridiculous shit, and this this is like top notch ridiculous. How are the action scenes? Oh, they're sick. Like very like I said, this is very gory, very gory. Uh, like, in that previous one, like, he rips off the cockroach's arm and stabs it through the face. This guy kicks him in the face. It's not as... This one is more of a technical fight. 
I love their stupid fucking faces. I know, it's like Animorphs. It really is. <laughs> they stab themselves in the... He stabs himself in the neck with a syringe, and then he gets his superpowers. But sometimes he can activate it at will, but then he can't control it. You know, typical anime. <laughs> if, he, if he does it unnaturally, it's ridiculous. This guy, he just gets the shit kicked out of him. And then I all wonder, of a sudden he does why it. are the bugs so... Do they explain why the bugs are so hostile? Is it just because the humans are trying to kill them? Or are they actively hunting? They aren't hunting us because they live on Mars and we live uh, on Earth. So they do the comparison where, you know, the cockroaches on Earth, this one guy... They, in, the, in all the episodes, they go to this I, sweet I, I scene. I don't understand the conflict then, though. Because if, if they're on Mars, just leave them there. Man. No, they need to go to Mars because a virus from there has plagued humanity and it has a 100% mortality rate. So they need samples to create an antidote. Uh, so they have to go to Mars. It's not like we're going to Mars to kill cockroaches because fuck it. <laughs> they're not, it's well, not that know. bad. I mean, I don't know. I know, I know. I'm just saying that's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> but no, they're actually just going there because... But, okay, I've never seen that. And I honestly think I might be continuing this uh, show. <laughs> it was pretty sick. I, I It was just, like, I'd have to say, if you like ridiculous story, insanely fast progression, yeah, like, yeah, you get, they give you this, here's the backstory of these awesome characters, and then, oh, God, there's bugs in the ship, and half of them fucking die. It's awesome. <laughs> it's like, why did you even give me the backstory? But I like that they did, because it was so quick. <laughs> I'm going to give it a solid 81. Ooh. I like it. It's The the story's so ridiculous that I'm loving it. Like, fucking mutant. We put cockroaches on Mars. Now they've grown, and now they're super cockroaches, and they're killing us insanely fast. And uh, how did they explain the cockroaches getting on Mars? They've they slightly they hinted. They've slightly hinted. I'm five episodes in. They've slightly hinted that uh, they were put there. And you get... I think they're trying to basically turn Mars into another Earth by terraforming it. I don't know. They put cockroaches there, and I think the cockroaches made Mars. Because they said... She's like, oh, I. when they first get there, she's like, there's, like, water and shit and, like, vegetation, so it's, like, turning into Earth, essentially, is my guess. Doesn't really make a ton of sense, but I, okay. Well, it's the year 2600. I think they're going to go the overpopulation route, so they need to go to Mars to live there. <clears throat> I don't know. I'll probably be able to tell you more next week. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty dope. And like I said, 8.1. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. I was surprised. <clears throat> so what, what, uh, what did I even give you? <laughs> it was bad. Today in class 5-2. You can slightly blame Roger for this, but overall it was mine. All right. It's a beautiful opening. So this show is fucking ass. Oh my god. Worst parts, best parts. There's no best part. Mm. So the show is what you would expect it to be from the title. Um uh, it's the daily goings on of class 5-2. Uh, fifth grade class 5-2. Oh my god, really? Mm-hmm. Mm. So, uh, little kids who I hate. I hate children. Oh, uh, now I'm feeling like even worse. And nothing feel- happens. I feel like, is it like, uh, I feel like right now I'm getting a Disney Channel vibe from it. Remember those, like, old shows? But, like, they weren't animated, they were, like, 
Like it's it's, it's like an animated version of That's So Raven or something, but worse. Mm. It's it's kind of hard to draw that parallel just because this is so Japanesey. Mm. But it's like it's not funny. I didn't laugh. I struggled to get through three episodes. Oh. I, I didn't laugh once, even though it's trying to be funny, but it's all shit that you've seen before. Uh, kind of awkward, innocent main character gets himself into overtly sexual situations by accident and fucking gets punched in the face for it. Oh, okay, that's fair. Uh, and they're in fifth grade, so it's, it's, it's not even like high school shit, it's fifth grader shit. Face palm. Which is even more boring like, and annoying. It seems creepy and pedo y almost. <laughs> so, yeah, it super is. Because when you uh, know there that, are a lot of it's very suggestive scenes with fifth, supposed fifth graders. And it's not like a th an anime thing where they're like in fifth grade, but they look like they might as well be 26 with giant rocking tits. Yeah. No, they look like they're in fifth grade. That's fucked up. And I hate it. I hate everything about this show. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, that, uh, that, yeah. Is this getting any points? <laughs> can you give a zero? <laughs> I think he can. <laughs> I'm, I, I was able to finish three episodes. Really? It gets a two. It gets a two. Oh my god. I'm I, it, I had contemplated not finishing the three episodes, but the fact that I could even make it through it means it's not a zero. At least you watched it. I'm impressed. That's the lengths we go to. Although it's the lengths mostly my spin comes through. <laughs> Cause yeah, I didn't really give it any bad ones. I can totally understand what Roger sees in some of these shows. Some of them are genuinely funny, even though they're like tropey. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's just like what, what does he call them? Like slice of life anime? Is that what? what yeah, I think that's the genre. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can kind of get some of those because some of them are genuinely funny, but this one's mm -hmm. generic. It uh weird because they're in fifth grade yeah that's the weird part this whole part right now is weird i don't even know if i can show that to the stream yeah that's fucked uh-huh <laughs> his face is funny though <laughs> oh that was censored in the episode i watched really that was not uh -huh. censored right there no that was not censored at all <laughs> well there you go stream Rewatch it all you want on youtube it's fantastic <laughs> um Terrible. I hated it. I well, hated everything hopefully it. this next one is the complete opposite of that. It's called... Here, I'll give you the link. It's called Shigurai Death Frenzy. Where is you? Boom. I have, like, probably ten different shows that I could give you. Oh, God. You can pick from the bad ones. Well, I started the video. Me too. It's decently long video. Oh, but, in the just trailer, I don't think does it super justice. But I will, I also have something that I want to show you, but I want to read it. It's like a little tiny summary. Very tiny. <laughs> read it to me. That's an attempting video. Yes. And there's no subtitles. I could not find a trailer with subtitles. It's impossible. But essentially, at the beginning of the Edo era, when people enjoyed a time of peace, Lord Tokugawa Tana Tadanaka holds a fighting tournament. In the past, matches were fought with wooden swords. This time, real swords oh, will be used. this is on my list. One-armed Fujiki Genosuke and blind Irako Saige will fight each other in this match. Both are disciples of Iwamoto Kogen, who is known as Japan's greatest swordsman. Each of them are determined to prove himself the successor of the school. However, there could only be one champion. And they're going to fight with real swords, and apparently uh, the real swords makes it so people get fucking 
Rex. Yeah, see, I had this on my list for you. Well, that's awesome. You get to watch it. <laughs> it sounds and looks ridiculous. Yeah, and no, that sounded cool. Um, I, it's, I didn't know if you would like it because it sounds like it has a bit of a slower plot line. Um, but I, I kind of like that tension drama, uh, you know, mixing with the sword play. Yeah, I think I'll be into this. There was a review about it in the sense that if you like, I, I was going to say I got a different perspective. It was just quick, smash them up, uh, everyone dies, gory anime. <laughs> I think it's going to be sick. It was similar to Afro Samurai. Oh. <laughs> From the description, it sounded like it was going to be more of like a psychological thriller kind of thing mixed in with some sword play. No, I think it should and but, uh, better be I, I, more I didn't sword watch play. A I didn't watch a trailer. Yeah, I got a feeling. It's just a one-armed swordsman versus a blind swordsman, though? I like yeah. that dynamic. That's awesome, right? And already the animation looks crazy. <laughs> looks sick there because i knew i knew i gave oh, I you i just got chills this gave shit's you, gonna be lit i gave you a shit anime so there's a good one for the you. worst one i've ever seen probably <laughs> <laughs> oops <laughs> i didn't mean to Fine. I'm, I'm i have fucking shit playing in my background um i have a lot of options of what i can get Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me let me take a look through my list real quick. Real quick, real quick. Have you watched Parasite the Maxim? No. Perfect. You're gonna love this fucking show. The show is at least a nine for me. Well may I actually might have actually now that I think about it. Does his like hand talk to him? Yes. Okay, I did watch that. That one was sick. You did watch it? Great. Yeah, I did just ran. I that was one of the ones I just randomly watched. I forgot about that. That was creepy. Shinji. That show is Shinji. fucking great. The creepy yeah. hand. I remember that. The show was fantastic, though. I love it. Yeah, I think yeah. I watched it most of it. Yeah, I watched every episode. Fucking awesome. It was pretty good. Um. So if not that. Okay. Let's just go with this one. Um, may, might be good, might not be. Damn it. <laughs> That's fair, though. At least I'm not giving you an overtly shit one. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Could have just ca caught your fancy. I didn't realize it was like fifth grader shit. It's creepy. What, what are you giving me? Or did you put it in the chat? Uh, I'm gonna link you in a second. I just want to make sure I get a trailer with subtitles. Mm -hmm. Those good. are French subtitles. French? I don't know French. Not at all. We. Oui. Yeah. That means yes. That's also French. Why? <laughs> Why are these all in French? I don't know. Maybe it's very popular in the country of France. Uh, I guess I'll just send you the English trailer. Fair enough. Wait, let me check this Does one. This say, do I need to know the words? I mean, it definitely helps. I suppose it does. That is true, Cotton. I should change my background. Okay. Get some stuff coming up. Actually, I think you're really gonna like this. Beep. Dead Man Wonderland. I like the title. From the studio that brought you Samurai Shampoo and Ergo Proxy. Ah. Funimation, it's potentially on Hulu. What you looking at anyway? Oh, 
I was just kind of digging up some stuff online about this whole prison tour field trip thing. Oh, yeah? Are you as stoked about it as I am? I mean, the place is supposed to be tricked out like an amusement park. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, at about the at, uh, at the one minute point, pause real quick. I have a comment. Oh. Would your name be Ganta Igarashi? The only recourse that we have is capital punishment. What? But innocent. I am Makina, Chief Warden. Welcome to the first and only privately owned corrections facility in Japan. Have any questions? Huh. <laughs> Pause it quick. Okay. Um, she said, this is Japan's one and only privately owned prison. <laughs> when a majority of prisons in America are privately owned. <laughs> that's very factual, actually. Well, this that's, is the... that's ironic, and that's a terrible thing. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say that. That's so funny. psycho who slaughtered his class in Nagano. Can you use that again? And all I've got to do is bleed. This place and its rules can suck So I don't know any, really anything about the plot. I know sure this. it's um, this one's the old prisoners that are forced to play this uh, game show no where yeah. it's quite easy to die. Be hard. Um, you are as the world has made you. That's dark. There's a sort of blood magic going on. That's what it looks like. Uh, it looks pretty lit. I think you're gonna like it. That does look awesome. I am excited for that. I'm gonna make sure I put this. Oh, it's already in the Discord. Oh my god, that looks awesome. Dude, that only kind of mind. I've been meaning to check that out, but I want to see what your rating on is on it before I. There you go. But, maybe yeah. it's not as good as I think it'll be. It looks pretty sick. That I love the weird starts of some of these shows, just like Terraformers. It just goes... That looks like it's going to have a really quick start, and then it's going to turn into like a completely different show, you know? <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of liking the whole, you know, how these shows, you know, start, because we're only watching like the first few episodes, so it's, it builds it up, and then... All of a sudden, shit happens. Like, I'd have to describe Terraformers as insanely almost too fast. Not really. Super <laughs> fast paced, yeah. Yeah, in super fast paced. And I, I love that about it. And it hooks you. So I'd give, like, if Terraformers had a great start, that's why. Yeah, I mean, honestly, story. with some of these shows, three episodes isn't even enough. Right? I mean, uh, three episodes was definitely enough for Terraformers, but it made me want to watch five. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we we binged full uh, full seasons. Very true, very true. Um, do we have any other uh, anime discussions that we were going with? I actually was looking heavy mm -hmm. on the gaming side to see what was going on this time. Um, anime stuff. Let me check that quick. Yeah, because uh, other than that, well, did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Huh? yeah, we're good. No, I'm lying. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I've been thinking about a, um, possibly a veto system. A veto system? I think we should, I, 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 and I don't know how we would structure it. But we should get like a veto per blank. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. that's fair enough. I'm down. Maybe like one a month. Sure. One one per four podcasts. You didn't get one veto. That's fair. I'm gonna try to do better because I feel like that last one was me. <laughs> I would have vetoed that. Yeah. Honestly, I knew I wasn't gonna like it. Um, it didn't look nearly as funny as like Nichi Joe did, and you didn't even like that too much. Right. Yeah. No, I totally agree. I think that topic will, of shows, slice of life. I don't think that's really us. I'm sure there are. Because I was enjoying our like gore horror fest. <laughs> that was kind of fun. 
I have a, a couple more of those listed that are like especially brutal. They're gonna Ooh. be pretty dope. Um, I don't know, but I'm sure there are some great Slays of Life animes out there. Oh, sir. To be completely fair, I'm sure they're out there. I don't know about them. And the ones that I have, I mean, I guess Food Wars would be a slice of life, wouldn't it? I think so. It's yeah. a pretty, it's it's a it's a topic that would generally be considered fairly mundane, that is made entertaining and hilarious. I think I would have to agree with you on that regard for sure. Food Wars is still the best umami. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, and I've seen some clips. Pretty. Uh, just, just like some clips from Slice of Life animes, mm-hmm. they're fucking hilarious. Uh, just as a well, clip. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was saying about parts of Nichi Joe. You know, like every, you know, there was a two parts in the episode that were really funny, but then the rest of it's just kind of like miss. That's kind of why I compared it to uh, Mad TV. I don't know if you ever watched that. But basically, uh, most of it. SNL guy. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I never really watched that either that much. But by that time, I was just playing games at, at that specific time of night. <laughs> mm-hmm. But um, I compared it to Mad TV because most of it honestly sucked, in my opinion. But they, it had its rare moments that were absolutely hilarious. So it's just like. I, I compared it to that, you know. It has its times, and that's I think where a lot of memes and stuff come from, you know. And there's or there's short little clips. The the, the better yeah, ones. Yeah, and I mean even uh, I, you've seen those like anime out of context things. Yeah, they work a lot for that. <laughs> yeah, there are plenty of like really hilarious clips from these types of shows that, you know, maybe we might not like as a show, but they definitely. Yeah. Certainly. Certainly, certainly. Today in Class 5 2 had no moments that I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Not in the first three episodes. Yeah. Although that did, did look one, like underage it porn at a, a point. Chuckle. Like if it doesn't even get a like a like a it, 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 I didn't even like I, I didn't even come close to laughing. Ugh. Like I was just trying to get through it. It's like come on, come on, you got like three bulls loaded and you're just like just, just come on, kill me now. <laughs> well, I was watching in VR too. So. Oh yeah, and I'd I have all to my say, anime watching in VR now. I feel like I'm just gonna learn so much about bugs and shit from uh, from Terraformers. Like that scene. Terraformers that looks interesting, and when you said that they do incorporate a lot of like science elements into it, that got me oh. even more interested in it because the action scenes look incredible. There's a when I say science, it's definitely like uh, biology and uh, yeah, yeah, like like. But whatever, I, I, I love science. I'm into science. Mm-hmm. Bill deGrasse Tyson is bay. <laughs> for sure. I'm more into space and shit than I am into biology. Oh, yeah, sure. Biology was my least favorite. Of the Neil deGrasse science. Tyson was just recently on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast again. It was a super good podcast. If you ever need something to listen to, nice. That'd be sweet. He's a very. I listen to a lot of podcasts. Hey, podcasts are good. Spin listens to a lot of podcasts. Podcasts are great, honestly. They they get you through the day. And if you listen to the right ones, I mean, it's either shit that you want to learn more about, uh, or just like entertaining people. Like all the ones I listen to are comedians. Uh, Joe Rogan, (laughs) Tom Segura, Joey Diaz, Burke Mm. Frazier. Yeah, for sure. I just mind my, my new my, Joe Rogan has the craziest guests on though. On, in the same day, and he streams these live on YouTube, and then you post them. <laughs> on the same day, he interviewed Chuck Palahniuk, or however you pronounce his last name, the guy who wrote Fight Club. Oh, nice. And then Neil deGrasse Tyson right after that, the same day. That's like, kind of gets the craziest guests. Damn, it's crazy he can get them. Guy. Well, he's super famous. Like, Joe Rogan's uber famous. Mm. And his podcast gets millions of views. So, there, it, it gets more draw than most cable TV shows. Uh, the internet's awesome for that. Internet content is for sure the future. Like, I mean, you know, they these start YouTube channels. Making us pay extra for it. No, because people are shit. just going to. 
that's gonna that's how it's gonna have to be only because people are just gonna cable's gonna disappear so they're these cable companies are gonna lose that income so they're gonna need to structure the pricing of their internet differently to compensate for that well, Bitch, I, I I don't want it to be that way, but that's just how capitalism. Well, I was works. kind of more going towards like that neutrality bullshit where they're gonna change the speed of certain shit unless you pay for deluxe packages. I don't like that. I think that's. I don't. Stupid. I don't really know if that's how it's gonna happen. That's um, what they say it's gonna. I don't yeah, know. I feel like there's gonna be like they said, riots in the They street. said Y2K was gonna happen and shit. <laughs> Very true. Here's my whole thing, right? You don't fuck with nerds. Right? Nerds That's what can I'm... ruin your life. I'm, I was just gonna say those like hacking groups out there who stir the pot quite well. They can, you know, you don't want to fuck. That's with what them. I'm saying. Like, it's like don't if, take if my. If you fuck with anyone else, you're like, oh, we're gonna take your guns away, and all the rednecks get up in arms, and they're like, fuck you, government. And this, yeah, man. Like, nothing happens. You fuck with nerds, the next day, your home address, uh, the names of all your family members, your fucking your bank, uh, account, uh, bank zero. account number, your fucking, yeah. All that it's shit. all out there. Oh, yeah. You don't have any money left. You're fucking... People like, are gonna your, riot. Your nudes got leaked. <laughs> your fucking nudes got my nudes, bro. I, I you know, you there. don't fuck... And, and, and I want to think that the government knows. Don't fuck with nerds. <laughs> you don't want to do that. I've seen, I've seen Revenge of the Nerds. It happens. It's bad. <laughs> in, in the internet age, nerds are the most powerful people right now. I would think so. Anyone who really knows how to use a computer, I think hackers have a pretty good... Uh, well, I don't really know how... I don't know shit about hacking, to be honest. So I don't know how that is nowadays. But I know you can definitely, you know, those big groups, they really... They can do shit. Bring it out of shit. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can ruin someone's life. Or a lot of people on a computer very quickly. Yeah, by just sitting here, you got your monitors. You don't. You obviously don't have a webcam, but you ain't just doing your thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I could, I could fucking end the stream, and I could fuck, you know, I could shut down a bank, potentially, if I knew how to do that. Uh, yeah, that would just, you know, how the stock market and the economy goes. That that would just oh, shatter everything. It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, you basically the just have to. Out there these days. Yeah, you just fuck with the money. Like money is ruling everything, pretty much. So I mean, if you fuck with that, chaos, chaos. Yeah, if if something as drastic as like that net neutrality shit that they were predicting happens, then there's going to be hell to pay for the people responsible. So that's oh why I say that. That's think, probably think if like. Happen. Think of like you wanted to use like have a decent connection to like like think about a sports guy, he would have to pay specifically more money for a sports package to get like a higher internet speed so he could live stream games and stuff. Well, I even think it's ridiculous. See, I, I had never heard of like a data limit on an internet connection before you had brought it up. Mm -hmm. So I looked it up and like more states than not actually do have that and i never heard of it before because my state isn't one of those that has that uh, with, with comcast mm. oh yeah um, i got comcast it sucks it's okay but it sucks i mean i have gigabit i have no complaints um, i have no complaints about the speed or anything i just could negotiate on the price data caps my yeah my, my price is okay i fucking data i can't even fathom data caps had to go unlimited because of those <laughs> it's like, terrible oh my god that's you, you get data caps on a fucking phone data plan not on your home internet plan that's seems and they're like oh 99 percent of our fucking users stay under one terabyte a month i don't buy that at all yeah lies and if slander you, if you watch netflix nightly you're going over that in 11 days like mm, easily well, honestly, if you're a Twitch streamer, you really go over that. Yeah, no, I, it's yeah, fucking exactly. annoying. 
It was literally like just like. More but I had never heard of that before because that's not a thing where. Lucky ducky. I'd have to say it absolutely blows. Quick question: Do you ever see Billy and Mandy? Yeah, of course. I love this show. The show is awesome. Where's the chaos? I just wanted to hear you say chaos. What is with you today? Or my phone yeah, out. Find it. Where's the hey, class. Any questions? Where is the damn take your chick? Test, and I take my this nap. is wrong. I God, I love that show. Ah, uh, is it this one? I was a big fan of all the more obscure cartoons from my childhood. Dude, like, uh, Curse the Cowardly Dog. Yeah, all the ones that were a little off, Chaos. you know? Yes! Ooh, ooh, I know. That's an apple. Not uh, they're coming out with a new Invader Zim movie. No, oh, I think you said that. That's gonna be sick. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Invader Zim, I love. Um, one thing that you you might want to check out if you were a big fan of Invader Zim, uh, he came out with this, I think it's an eight-part comic series called Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. Uh, the, the, the guy who wrote Invader Zim and, uh, and, uh, and uh, did the art for it. Uh, and it is everything he couldn't do on a children's channel which i mean he got away with a lot for that shit being on nickelodeon mm -hmm. uh it, it's it's a very adult very uh invader zim like kind of <laughs> kind of story nasty. about johnny the <laughs> it's super nasty and it's uh dark really dark and really funny i can believe that and uh yeah you might be into that johnny the homicidal maniac what hmm. it's called. Let me grab. It's like a like an eight part comic. Oh, it's a comic, you said? Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. I do like the art style and it's definitely an invader zim style. <laughs> but it's super dark and violent and like Oh yeah, yeah damn. Awesome. It's it's awesome. That is definite. I can tell by that picture and a couple of the other ones. Okay. Okay, I might have to check that out. Yeah, definitely worth checking out. I'm just saying. For sure, for sure. Mm, somehow we got onto old cartoons, which is awesome. And I was trying well, to... Well, yeah, you of... brought up Billy and Mandy for some reason. Dude, I was just thinking of the one chick where she just goes, Chaos! <laughs> I couldn't... They found the whole damn episode. It was bullshit. <laughs> I couldn't... Dude, I loved, like, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. That one was fantastic. That had so many weird, fucked-up moments. I feel like a lot of these cartoons, like, shape the general humor and, like, uh, uh, personality of our generation. We're all a little weird. Off. Yep. Well, that's what the writers came up with. So that's what <laughs> shaped and molded us. I mean, media plays a big part in everyone's development, I would say, nowadays. Yeah. For sure. Of course. Media is, is such a big part of your life. Which is one of the reasons why I really liked Inuyashiki with the whole shooting people from his cell phones. That was crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. So, I actually watched this whole video, but I won't. But just to jump, jump ship to the video game topic... And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to sadly watch this one. I did. So. But um, they came out with actual, uh, f like a 48-minute gameplay video of Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. And I would have to say, it looks pretty dope. I have to say I have no opinions on that game. I've never heard of the series before. I would have to say, they have, nobody knew what this game was going to be really about at all. Because they haven't shown gameplay, they show sick, cool-looking shit. They never showed gameplay, so it's basically kind of a. Um, it's like Fallout, I would have to say, but like a thousand times better. Fallout combined with GTA. Okay. 
where you it's an open world you can get in the car and pretty much go and do whatever but every single little quest and every single thing that you pretty much do hang on I'll just get forward in this but they showed like a huge mission wow and, and, and there's a lot of dialogue options. Like, she had a situation where you could take this mission four different ways. Like, you could go in guns blazing. You could just say, hey, I've got this chip from this meeting I had. And it just, it just looked very interesting. And that affects everything. Like, you could have just barged in and shot up everyone or s tried to do the deal, do this fucked up deal. The graphics look phenomenal. I know it's a demo, so it could just be way better than it's going to be. Hmm. But, yeah, let's just start from here. The missions and the gameplay is honestly what's kind of like got me really psyched for this. Because it seems like it's going to be different every single time. You could do this same specific meeting and mission. Like, I feel like you could honestly fail some of these in the sense that if you don't talk right, you'll either die or or you just won't unlock the next mission. See, that's the thing. Video games generally aren't the greatest at giving you real choice as to how the story... Because they can only... It costs a lot of money to make these games, and they can only really make one main storyline for it. So they can't really have you deviating too far from that. You can get, like, alternate endings and shit, but generally your choices aren't going to make that much of a difference for the overall plot. So if they do are able to get that right somehow, then fucking, yeah, that's going to be a fantastic game. I, 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 I'm not so sure. There hasn't been a game that's done it yet. I, you know, that, that I can agree with. I mean, you have to at least have a way to get through the main story. You can't just, like, it's not like one of those, like, uh, pick your own adventure books where it's like, go to page 70 because you chose the right path. Oh, looks like you died. <laughs> Restart. No, I'll just, and I always got pissed. I would play that game. Well, I honestly think that's what this is kind of going to be like, but I don't think it's going to kill you. I feel like, like an indie game would maybe make something like that. I, I wouldn't play that game, you know? I'm just very intrigued with this whole universe, too. It's so bizarre. Like, basically, you're in the super future, so you get, like, there's, like, black market military tech, like, mods you can implant into yourself because robot implants are the future to make you strong and shit. When, uh, when robot implants become available, are you signing up? I don't think so. They'll probably force you into the army. They wouldn't give that to normal people. It would increase crime, which has clearly happened in this. You so just get away with shit. That's kind of how these games, or these, uh, yeah, these games and, you know, fake cyberpunk future goes when it's super technology is... <laughs> is advanced there's bandits and shit everywhere <laughs> i do think that's kind of also the purpose of a video game so it's kind of forced but at the same time i don't think it's that far off this is the the combat looks very unique in this let me try and skip ahead to that the, this is, look at this fucking sketchy ass motherfucker The, this group specifically, they're all about becoming the perfect humans. So they're trying to. They're trying to just make themselves basically fully robots. It's weird. I'll drink. Okay. I just think that's a fucked up group. I'm all down for robot implants, by the way. I'm 100% down. I'll be the first to sign up. You're going right for it? Yeah, unless they uh, unless they give me the option to uh, upload my consciousness into the uh, what do they call that to the <laughs> um, like into the matrix or whatever. Mm. Like I would I would upload my consciousness and immortality in a second. Like I I, don't, I wouldn't even have to think about it. 
That would be cool. Would you look, want that. to look like that, that guy? guy? That's, I mean, you could probably look like whatever. I mean, I mean you would is... hope, but I mean, he's got enhanced military tech, so he has supervision and shit, but half of his fucking face is gone, and he has crazy shit coming out. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Like, I'll, I'll be a superhero. I don't care. How much you say you had? 50K. I'm not pretty anyway. <laughs> also, the main character seems like a badass, and you can play as a chick or a dude. Graphics are cool. The graphics look so sick in this, to be completely honest. But like, like I, you said, it was a demo. Yeah, yeah. But like, so we'll see. But you know what? Uh, what developer is this from? Do you know? Don't actually. CD Projekt Red. Witcher. Oh, Witcher, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, that uh. Some more promising. And I've, it's heard, like a I've been hearing time about kind of things. Yeah, I've been hearing about this game a lot, and I've never really looked into it at all because they've never shown any sort of gameplay. They just I'm still it. looking forward to Anthem. Mm. I haven't really looked Anthem too much looks like everything that. that Destiny should have been. Yeah, Destiny. Uh, kind of sad that I bought that. Destiny's always been. I really played the first one, got it late, and then because I got it cheap. But here, here's some combat action. So he's got you get like a shotgun. The combat looks very Fallouty. It is, but isn't. Like they do have slow down time shit, but it's more like in action dives and shit. There's, it's got like the numbers above the head and stuff. This is another. But like you can see through walls and see through walls. And it's all about limbs and shit. Like you shoot off their legs and they just drop. Yeah, realistic battle damage. That's always nice. Mm -hmm. That's what the uh, that's what the new Doom game is doing as well. They they also have like super upgrades to all the weapons, and he just. They see specifically says I know it's quiet. He says in the trailer that um, I mean I can't hear anything. Oh okay. Well he gets um, late game gear. This is late game stuff, but they're just trying to show off what you can eventually get. And this looks I like I wish they wouldn't do that. I kind of wish they wouldn't do that to be honest. I don't know why they're doing that, but I think kind of given away. I don't know, like, but a lot of the secret is seeing what kind of upgrades that you are going to get. That's a lot of the excitement of playing any single player game is what powerful, cool shit. He's got like a homing rocket P90 right now. Dude, this, the double shot he was saying. Yeah, the homing P90 though thing is kind of like easy mode. I love. I, I, that's I, probably I, one of the like last guns that you're going to get. That's, that seems like supremely powerful. Yeah, definitely. But it's all about modding different weapons and shit. So I think it's like similar to what Fallout could have done, but it was too simple almost, I'd say. This could be complex enough to actually... Like a Dead cool. Space type thing? See, I never played Dead Space, but... Dead Space was pretty cool with the weapon. I have to launch. say, with, with games like these, where... You know, I will see, like, numbers above the head usually means grindy games. That's just what I've come across. It's like Borderlands. From what I've seen in the Division, it gives it's an me RPG. That vibe you can't that. make an RPG that's not grinding. Eventually, the 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 missions are going to become pretty monotonous because you're going to get super used to the combat system. You're going to figure out what works best against certain yeah, achieve certain shit. Yeah. Uh, I that's that. that's how every RPG is. I don't know if there's really any avoiding that necessarily. That's fair. I'm just liking how crazy and weirdly you can do everything. Yeah. So, I, I, he basically hacked that guy who was in a group with them, hacked their, like, um, he hacked their, uh, 
I don't know. He, he it access. They're all linked together because that's like everyone's a robot essentially in the future. So he, he hacked into them and then hacked that guy specifically. <laughs> Sickly kills that guy. And then this guy's gun can't fire. So bam. Oh, I think that was just fucking sick. I think it's kind of like almost pointless though when you probably probably could have just taken him out instantly by just shooting him. Is my guess. <laughs> but that was still pretty freaking awesome. Well, I imagine if you're using the um, appropriate weaponry for the area it's uh slightly more challenging at least i mean i hope they do make it challenging i hope it's not too easy no it, do it doesn't look like it's gonna be easy i got a feeling like you know certain parts are gonna require stealth but i don't know i think the, they, they're really trying to focus on decision making it's, it's weird Let's, here's the boss fight because they hack that one guy he has a weak spot exposed to get rid of his, to, yeah, to get rid of his shield what I think is pretty tight is right around here about to get rocketed shoots the, the nearby car down for protection and the like dashing ability seems really good. I don't know. If it plays like if the whole game plays like this demo, I think this game's gonna be freaking sick. Potentially. It it definitely looks like it has potential. I'm pretty jaded, honestly, towards any sort of demos these days, because they can be so hit or miss. Right. Still very <laughs> curious about Death Stranding. But this definitely yeah. does look like a game that I could get into, so... The premise is really cool, yeah, the, uh, the, the visuals are cool, the action looks like, uh, Let's put him down. you know, it's, uh, uh exciting. Mm -hmm. And yeah. to state, this did come out, I think, like, two days ago, so... Mm -hmm. Brand yeah, new. no, I saw that when I was looking through this, but again, I, I didn't really mm -hmm. give a fuck about it, honestly. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, I did uh, catch a glimpse of something else that I saw that I'm still maybe going to get. I don't know. I think, uh, I don't know. Can, if I, we... can I take a quick pee break? Yeah, yeah, go for it before I jump into that. Because I am a little excited about that. Uh, hope you guys are having a good time. That's such a view. For funsies, I totally walked up 2,744 steps to get an amazing view of Manitou Springs, Colorado. Freaking the incline. Pretty crazy walk. My legs are okay. But my sunburn is not. Because I'm dumb. Should have fucking sunscreen. But it was a good time. Glad I made it. How crazy would it be to be like up on on the top of that like red spear? That All right. Crazy. Oh, he yeah. is back. Just because I am still a maybe on this game because I have been having a hankering for some zombies, but also potentially this Battle Royale mode. But they did come out with a um, Call of Duty, like, it's a lot of campaign, but it's the, uh, it's a PC 4K. Optimized mm -hmm. for PC. I'll believe that when I see it. True. That was that, also that a sick a single. There hasn't been one single Call of Duty game that's been optimized for PC traffic. I signed Mouse and yeah, okay. This does look sick. Battlefield's always been the one that was like Battlefield has more PC players than any other uh, uh, platform. 
<laughs> it was interesting that I never really thought of, but like, this is like Blizzard, Activision. <laughs> Blizzard? Yeah, you gotta use your battle.net. Activision bought Blizzard. They did? Mm hmm. That's fucking awful. <laughs> it's interesting. That's terrible news. So it's Can like. You imagine you... what's gonna happen to fucking World of Warcraft? Oh, I don't know about that. They might just have the same development teams on that and shit. But I was just more leaning towards, like, so you've got. You've got, uh. What is no, it? Not Pad. No, Activision. Overwatch. No. You got Overwatch, and you've got. No, you can't have Call of Duty on Overwatch. No. Over Overwatch. And Destiny 2, and now they've got Call of Duty. <laughs> but it's Treyarch. Oh. Treyarch's been the one winning the Call of Duties lately. But, like, why did, why did Blizzard sell out to fucking Activision? Money? What yeah. the fuck is that? Money, 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 money. Tis what tis. I have to say, that, that is a game I might get. Yeah, game Streets like of Rage 4. Mm. See, I I think Call of Duty Battle Royale is going to be interesting, to say the least. Possibly. I've just gotten a hankering for zombies again. I kind of want to play zombies. I love figuring out those maps and surviving. I think it was the Zombie Army trilogy that got me back into it. <laughs> oh. But, you know, it looked good. So we'll see. What are your thoughts? Would you get it? New COD? Yeah. It's probably not going to happen. <laughs> see, I'm probably not going to get it either. We'll see where I'm at financially. I, I, I was pretty excited about World War II as well. Um when that was being announced because I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a sucker for grandpa guns mm. that's definitely not this game this one's gonna be and future I, e guns and I didn't get it I just didn't mm -hmm. so. this is such a weird weird you know e even if I end up saying that I'll probably get it I probably mm-hmm Hey, honesty is a good policy. But this has gotten completely weird. So they take the mystic powder, and now they're in a gladiator ring. And this they guy... do drugs. No, they don't do the drugs. This guy's they just... The crowd's loving it. They all have golden masks. Alright, Streets of Rage 4. Streets of Rage 4? What's that? You've played Streets of Rage. Have I? That's all old game. Old game. Oh, is that the guy with uh, the hat? Is all I can think of? Yes. Oh, let me get this music on. Also, that Sega game. Hmm. Sega still exists? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Or was this like a final fight? Is this like a 2D f fighter? Yeah. Well, I meant like. like well, no, uh, it's a it's a beat. It looks like a, a beat 'em up game. Oh, okay. Oh, I that played this awesome. game on stream. Did I? Yeah. No. Not not this game. This game, but one of the Streets of Rage games. I played a final fight. Is probably what I played. It looked like Streets of Rage. With, yeah, same thing. With Jen, Final Fight. Mm -hmm. Okay. That looked same pretty thing. dope. Those games are always fun. Yeah, no, it's just a new one. It's all hand-drawn, so it, it'll probably look pretty neat. I don't know if what it'll be selling for, if it'll be worth getting, but <laughs> it's just a throwback to an old, uh, you know, old kind of classic. Dude, yeah, I loved those types of games. Like, I played a lot of the Spider-Man ones, but this one was the original. The TMNT was the best. The, the Mutant Ninja Turtles was a good one, for sure. 
Oh, this is funny. So, turns out, I had, we had, a, this, this was a Super Nintendo game. And we had the actual old version that, like, apparently Guy was a character in the game. Never knew that. We I had the sh that? No, it, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was, um, freaking, it was Cody and Hagar, and then there was Guy. We didn't, we had one of the rare versions when they first brought this game from Japan to America. When they first did that, this game only had, they made a first few editions that only had Cody and Hagar as playable characters. But then, when the game, you know, the other version came out or something, I actually don't know, it's a weird story, but either way, we have a rare, shitty version, because we don't have the other character. It might be valuable. I don't know that it is, maybe. I don't know where it is nowadays. Oh, and I remember this boss. Oh, this guy knows the cheese tactics, too. What a legend. Wow. See, what's what's awesome? Watching people who clearly are, like, masters of these old games do shit like that. It, is, it feels good that I kind of knew that you could do that. I never got it so perfectly to kill the guy, but pretty legit. Would you say your favorite your favorite was the Ninja Turtle? Yeah, yeah, for sure. This this uh, this style. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fair enough. That one's. It was like uh, Turtles in Time was the one that I played. That one was good. Oh man. God, I miss those Super Nintendo games. They were always so difficult. Did you ever play any of the uh, Mega Man X games? Mm, didn't get it. Oh, we had one, and I just, I love that shit. Watching the one guy speed run it, though, was fantastic. It means Steve actually had a race, and he barely won at the end. <laughs> Fucking speed running. Oh, man. That's a thing in and of itself. So, I have an announcement. You have an announcement. I'm a DM now. You're a DM now. What? Mm -hmm. For who? My roommates. What? Yeah, they were getting sick of me talking about my campaigns. They thought it sounded like fun, and they were like, hey, we're trying to play. It's like, all right, well, fuck it. I'll run a game for you then. How many you got? Four people. Does that include you, or you have four players and you're the DM? Four players and... and... Oh, there you go. That'll probably work out pretty well then. I, uh, uh, I think I'm going to like being a DM. It's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading. Oh, I could imagine. I was gonna wait. Say uh, the way the spin was describing things is ridiculous. I, I, I kind of, I, I imagine it's gonna become more difficult in the coming uh, sessions because the first one that I'm setting up for now is always kind of the tutorial mission, where it's pretty railroaded. Yeah. Uh, but once it kind of starts being more open ended, that's good. Where it's gonna get interesting. Yes. But I have my uh, I have my first dungeon set up. I have the first part of the story set. Um, helping my players create my characters. Uh, it's gonna be fun. I hope. Hey man, I enjoy it. I feel like beer needs to be involved though. I think that makes things better. <laughs> yeah, of course. Well, it's gonna be at my house. So. Oh, nice. Oh shit! So are you using roll twenty, or do you actually have? No, a tabletop. Yeah. Damn. I have, and I, I don't have a good way to like show you this other than to just like put my fucking phone up to the webcam. But uh, I, I got these like floor tiles, so I was able to set up the the first dungeon that they're going to be encountering. 
Oh, okay, that's nice. Are they gonna encounter that like right away? Uh, so they they travel down like a road for a few days, and then they get into a couple encounters on the road. And then if they either gather enough information or make it to town and find out that the person they were supposed to meet isn't there, then they would have to double back and then take an alternate path, which would lead them to that dungeon. Okay, okay. Nice. How did you uh, come upon picking the campaign? So I just kind of looked for... Um, I, I did a quick Google search for uh, best campaigns for new DMs to run. Nice. Uh, and, Gotta go specific. Uh, yeah, and uh, the the top one that came up was this one called the Lost Minds of Fendelver. Uh, it's a pretty short campaign. It's only up to like level five, uh, but it's good for a new DM. Uh, it's fairly simple, and um, you can tie it's, in. Uh, it, it, if they did want to continue after that, it's easy to tie in a different campaign uh, uh, after this one ends. Perfect. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. We're actually, I think we're pretty pretty much going to get that new uh, party member next weekend. I'm not 100%, but possibly. Definitely looking forward to that. The more the merrier, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And that last one, that one was running for quite a bit. Whew. That was like a six and a half hour session. Yeah, it was kind of nuts. I think there were a little... I had a lot of fun, though. I did have a ton of fun on that. Uh, the dungeon was intense. I, it's. I, I feel like every session's better than the last, just because we're learning how to play more and learning how to play our characters specifically more. Yeah, I know. I think we could just be a little quicker at times. I think certain segments get a little slow, but you know, it was a long period of time, so you can't really fall bad. Yeah. But yeah, I'm. I'm enjoying it. I actually still haven't looked into leveling up my guy. I gotta do that. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta get around to that too. I've been doing so much DM shit. I don't know how much <clears throat> I could really get. I thought the I really uh, it was all combat based, but I have a lot of things that can do the out of combat stuff, you know. So I'm kind of like, damn it, we had a dungeon and I got all my new illusion ability and shit. So I think that's going to come into handy. I think that's fun. To be able to convince someone that he sees something no one else does, so he starts going crazy. <laughs> yeah, I like the uh, the more so non-combat spells a lot. I, I, I like to try to uh, resolve things non-violently because it's almost more creative. Mm -hmm. Right. I just, yeah, I just don't... Um... I mean, you don't need that many attacks. I have such a good one. Real Suke Hero. Y'all got a switch? My roommate actually does have a switch. I look forward to Smash. I don't have a switch. Nope, but he does have a sick VR headset. I do have a VR headset. And it's portable. Which is totally worth buying, by the way. The Oculus Go is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I can believe For that. For the price, of course. For the price, like... Yeah, can't be. It's beautiful. Hey, oh, ninja guy dudes, what we doing? We're doing well, Ben. How you doing? Kind of running low on like uh, topics. We're just shooting the shit at the moment. Uh, the uh, World Beatbox Championship Finals were posted. Were they? Oh God, did that one guy? Oh wait, no, that was the, the Discord. Guy. Oh, you put it in the Discord. Ooh, let's see that. These... I don't. I don't actually know who wins. I'm actually curious. This was pretty sick shit. It happened. So yeah, this happened every... uh, uh, about a week ago. Uh, uh, a week ago, it would have been a week Saturday. Um, this happens once every three years, Berlin, Germany. Uh, best beatboxers from the world get together and uh, have a competition to see who's going to be the best. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Like this, how is this dude doing that? As a person who just has no idea how he's doing what he's doing, he's just doing it. 
Huh? Just as a person who has no idea how they really do it. Like, I could not, I, like, you always try to put myself in the shoes of another person, and I just can't figure out how I would even come close to making those sounds. I used to love doing voices and stuff as, like, a kid growing up and fucking with them. I have no idea how they would do this. I mean, that, that's even the case with me a lot of times with some of these super high level people. I mean, these guys, these, these guys are in a totally different world from where, from where I am. This is so ridiculous. Oh, I love it. It's pretty sick though, right? Oh, that's sick. Oh, God. <laughs> He's clowning on him right now. No, I know. Alexino's nasty. God, this is ridiculous. Ah. That's so fast. That is so fast. So crazy. And this is again a shout out to Fire Brass, guys. Again, big shout out to Fire Brass. Again, yes, again, a big shout out to Fire Brass. Yes. All right. Didn't finish around. Switch. We, 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 don't, we don't have to watch the whole thing. Right. God, I'm, it's killing me. I love it. I need to know who it is. Yeah. Let's scoot forward. It's so fast. Oh my god, you you gotta go back to BR. This shit's hot. Yeah, <laughs> I wanna Wait, the guy before him? Yeah, his second round is fucking sick. Didn't finish your Switch. Oh god damn it, you made me skip that part. Oh you're about that shooting? Oh yeah, that's terrible. Well I didn't know. I, I haven't listened to this before just now, but I haven't played. King can stop by Mizuning. We have to end in contact with the non cup. The people do we have any territory? He do one thing to greet them. Let the rhythm, 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 Good <laughs> That's sick. I love this shit. It's so cool. I like you it. would never think beatboxing can go this far. It's so cool. Oh yeah. It's 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 crazy the things that just go they have their they're insanely Huge championships, and you didn't even half the stuff you didn't even know was a sport or anything like that, and it's just crazy. I've always just thought it was the coolest shit. I, I didn't see who won. Oh, damn it. Alright, we watched a little bit of it. Who won? 
Oh shit. They didn't say who won. Alexinho won. Oh shit. From France. France. Man from France. That is terrible. But yeah, Ben brings up a good point. Did you did you hear about that shit? The shooting in yeah. Florida? Oh my god. Yeah. That's just terrible. Terrible. Well, some white people got killed for one <laughs> I just have to say, it's just people that's die just, every day. I, I, I mean, I mean, it's after just you work like at a hospital, best... it's yeah. After yeah. you work at a hospital for a while, you're pretty jaded towards death. Uh, I people, people die every day. I mean, you know what I mean. That's true. I mean, just so young, and that's just just kind of pathetic. He <laughs> lost the Madden game, so went back and Start shooting up the place. Shoot that's up the place. That's dedication. That's dedication. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say, I mean, that guy's gotta, he's just clearly gotta be in some kind of super rut. He probably like, he, I, 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 I'm just trying to somehow think of why. In he's the crazy. Place. There's no, like, normal people don't shoot up a place over losing a Madden game. Well, yeah, I well, like mean, a bear or something, but he, he's a psycho. That's all there is to it. Yeah, my thoughts is he's clearly suicidal and just figured he'd go out and kill uh, other not people. Because I mean, you you know, like you know, going into it, if a you start shooting up a place, you're a gonna. A psycho just... does not know that. A psycho thinks he can win. Nah, he's just gonna keep. He's just, like, if you go into a place nowadays, unless you're just that dumb, like. If you're gonna shoot up the place, it's you're gonna be dumb, in prison it's forever. Illness. Well, that's that's definitely a probability there. He's a psycho, as in clinically. Like that's the only reason you do shit. Normal people don't just do shit like that. Right. And out of out of, there's so many people too. It's just like some of them just are, and you just snap. My, I'm just trying to like guess. My just thoughts would be like he's super broke and like his apparently from what Steve told me, I didn't look at the facts, but his dad like works as an engineer for NASA, so like he probably got opportunities and I don't know maybe he felt like he was a failure or something and then uh, put all of his money and life into men and just snapped. Absolutely snapped. This is tragic. I don't like it. Kind of That's gives... the thing. People are acting like there's more violence and tragedy than there has ever been. That's not really the case. I don't know. It's reported on more. It's easier to hear about. Right. But is it happening more? I think it's happening less than ever. Mm. Hard to really say. I don't know. Never been like a history or politics guy, so I don't really ever dive into well, it. Think about it logically. It? Right now, as far as social, what's the word I should use? Uh, like, as far as like social relations goes mm -hmm. in our country, it's it's better that people are more understanding and more accepting than they've ever been go back 30 years and they're just pretty okay with black people go back fucking 60 70 years and you know if you're not white then you're not all right mm, go yeah. back any farther and it just gets worse you know what i mean right and that goes the same for violence i mean it's easier to get called out or get uh, caught or get punished for crimes or just being a general asshole than it has ever been so people are forced to be more accountable right you know for the percentage of people that are in this country i don't think we have a whole lot of tragedies per capita that's all i'm saying i can i can agree i can agree to it's, i don't know it's, it's blown out of proportion and I, I just think it's blown out of proportion. And, you know, a mass shooting, it sucks. I mean, for the families involved. Oh, yeah. And uh, the people involved. Yeah. Uh, but, like, I don't know. Fucking. <laughs> I'm not apologizing for whites. I, I, don't, I don't trust white people. 
I just don't trust people in general. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't try to classify people like that. It's just the uh, this you know everyone's always got something to gain in certain anything and you know it just it just kinda sucks, you know, you that could happen anywhere, really. That's kind of yeah. a terrible thing. Like if you but go that's the thing. Like, the risk of going out anywhere. in public. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. It could happen anywhere. It's, I mean, there there are a ton of guns in this country. It's a lot more likely that you get shot than you get hit by a fucking meteor. So, right. Know, it, it's it's a thing that's gonna happen. Just like uh, you know, you can't drown in your backyard unless you install a pool. <laughs> right. That's a good one. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's it's. I feel like everything's just kind of blown out of proportion. Well, yeah, and I, you know, I think that's just the way that, you know, the American economy and the American way really has gone. In the sense, you know, your you know business is promoted to you know, be the best. It's a very competitive nature. So when you're, you know, pushed so far and you have illnesses like that, it's just gonna you know. It's gonna happen, but I have to say, you know, statistically, I don't know if it's more or less. I would, I'm kind of on your side thinking it's less, but at the same time, I. If you just think about the way that society has progressed, I don't think we've regressed. No, you know? definitely not. No. Now I do though fear because the idiocracy of that movie. I feel like it's eerily accurate. <laughs> It had some points. I mean, there are definitely a lot more stupid people than there are really smart people, and that lets them, you know, through democracy, run this country, technically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know I'm kind of, like, slabbed somewhere in the middle, so I kind of accepted my fate, and I try to make the most of what I'm given, and, you know, it is kind of suck that, you know, randomly could get... Well, I mean, that's, that's definitely a defining fucked. trait of our generation is general apathy. Like, we, we, uh, we were given a lot of hope on our childhood, during our childhood, when things were generally good, but then as we got older, things just continued to get worse. Mm-hmm. Completely. Or, or rather, we were noticing things, get the things that were getting worse. Mm -hmm. That we didn't. Huh. We are too high. <laughs> Quite I'm possibly. too drunk is the issue. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you know... We're just, yeah, we're probably just... You're the one who brought it up. We're just spinning around topic. You know, spinning left yeah, and right. You know, I feel bad. I just live my... I live my ways in the sense that, yeah, you know, I go out and shit could happen if I go out. But, you know, it's not really going to stop me. Like, you know, if I was the top Madden player and some crazy guy came back and shot up the other Madden players because he lost, you know... And that's almost like, what are the odds? You, you can't just live your life thinking against that. And, you know, again, feel really bad. That sucks for anyone that that occasion would ever happen. Yeah. But, but it's, 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 you like know. like cancer. Or like, I'm not going to, like. It's hit by a car. Donate my stream to that, you know. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get by, too. <laughs> so that's, like, the only that's thing. That's the issue, though. That's, that's what the real issue is, is because. We have such access to so much information that we know about everything that happens now. Every, and anything that happens anywhere, we know about it. Instantly, on the phone. So you, you have to be jaded to it to just make it through the day. Because there's so much tragedy just throughout the world, just statistically, because of how many people. It's kind of the way you got to think. I try to, th I, I just try to force myself into a positivity and see the good in things instead of bad. You know, there's really not much good at all you can see from that. But that's, you know, that's why I kind of try to pussily shy away from that shit. <laughs> it's like, life sucks. Well, at least I got these sweet-ass games to play. <laughs> I'm, make, I'm still paying my bills. My life is good. So, yeah, I don't really know. Negative topics. Suck at them. <laughs> But thank you for that, Ben. Uh, Mike Spam, did you have any other uh, news topics, anything we got going along the roots? I finally picked my Fighter Z team. I know. Fucking love it. I don't suck anymore. It's like 
I was actually trying to describe this to Steve. I was uh, no, no, you definitely fucking have reached the plateau since the last time I fought you. Oh, I'm going up, up, and away in my beautiful balloon. It's just like uh, For Honor, you know? That game took me a hot minute. Like, I I would slow down in playing it just because I knew I just was I was bad at it, so it wasn't fun. You know, it's it's good. It's good to win. And winning makes you feel better. <laughs> it's more fun to win, in my opinion. So, like, I haven't really been on my Dragon Ball grind just because, you know... The last few times before recent times, I would just get 0-3'd, 1-3'd all the time. And, you know, that's a, that's a pretty big shit to the kick to the knees. So, finally yeah, feel like I've like hit training. a point yep. where I've, I'm decent and I can actually start ranking up again. I love um, it. Got two new snakes. Ooh, two new snakes. What'd you name them? Uh, we have beef. <laughs> and we have... Oh, I'm trying to think. I have so many snakes now. Uh, Don't watch Game of Thrones. Oh, and Sunny. Oh, there you go. Who joined our channel? The new... You mom. Oh, Joe! Oh my god, it's Joe. What are you doing here, Joe? I'm just hanging out. What? Watch any good anime lately? Uh, Attack on Titan scares. God damn it, I do need to watch that. The new episode was really good and informative. How is the new season so far? It's I, uh, awesome. I watched the first three... No, two episodes. I watched the first two episodes. It's moving fast, and they are not at all stingy with the reveals. Ooh. Talking about basement keys, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Basement keys. Oh, snap. So watch the fucking show. God damn it, I need to. My hey, I don't know. doing that tonight. To we're, uh, we're recording the podcast right now. I didn't think you want to talk about it. <laughs> I, well, ideally, I would talk about Attack on Titan because today's episode was fucking huge. But Skaz is a nerd and just doesn't want to watch it. I do want to watch it, but I also want to play games like Dragon Ball Fighter. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, also, we're overloaded with anime right now <laughs> because of the podcast. It's true. Uh, Terraformers, fantastic show. It got an 8.1. 8.1. Really my show got a two. It was really bad. <laughs> Super bad. Don't watch today in class five dash two. Pretty terrible. Pretty terrible. If you had to uh, uh, recommend maybe an anime that the stream might not know about, Joe, what would you do? Um, the only one I've never really brought up before is the Maggie series on Netflix. The Maggie series. Yeah, I mean, it's irritating because it's spelled like magi and should be pronounced that way, but they just refuse. Huh. So that, that's really the only bad thing I can say about the show. Otherwise, it's really cool. What's the synopsis? synopsis? Yeah. Uh, yeah. let's see. It's been a hot minute. There... What, would you, what would you rate it first? At uh, least we do a seven a, and a half. Scale to ten. I enjoyed it a bit more than Soul Eater. Ooh, I like Soul Eater. I didn't watch Soul Eater. I was thinking about giving that to you. It mm. was so sad. I watched it. I liked that show. It was, uh... This is just long enough. Like, didn't need to keep going. Finished it well. It was good. I like it when shows don't outstay their welcome. Mm -hmm. More would have okay. ruined it. It was good. Interesting world. I can think of the craziest shit in anime. No doubt. Yeah, but other than that, I can already say that Joe has been playing Monster Hunter with me. It's an awesome game. In a so, big way. So dope. So many different right weapons. now. <laughs> I've been hearing good things, but I've probably still. It's just 
it's super fun. Well, Joe's got an interesting perspective because he's played like all of the other ones, right? Yes. So he's almost like all. Monster Hunter fanboy. He loves that shit. Is this the? Is this for sure the best one so far? Oh yeah. Fucking Why, blow because up. of uh, just like graphic advancements, or is it just uh, did they just do shit better in this one? It's like the ideal version of the game. This game's had like about half a dozen installments where they just gradually make improvements that you didn't realize the game really needed. Hmm. So I couldn't go back and play any of the other games because they'd be missing one or two features that, in hindsight, make it not very good. And, and this one, you say, would be like a big leap from the others? Yeah, it's perfection. There's nothing I could possibly improve on in this game. It is so smooth. Definitely the visuals are super cool. I like how like you could be fighting like a big lizard monster thing. And, and they fight each other. Yeah, it tries oh. to run away from you. And then on the way, like it swallows some other creature whole. Yup. Oh, yeah. No, the, the best part that Joe's getting to is the turf wars. Like you'd be hunting one of the beasts and then another one will show up and then they just start fighting the shit out of each other and the scenes the scenes are sick this one digs underground and goes underneath it and basically just impales it with its horns and then flips it over it's fucking sick <laughs> you're just standing there watching how yeah. ridiculous do monster hunter bosses get get are we talking like colossal monsters like uh yes colossus or there is one. At least one. There's I think least... there's there's one or two other giant ones probably coming. If past games are any indication. Mm. Okay, so there's usually a couple, but uh, like how how crazy are the bosses tend to get in game? Um, usually no bigger than a large truck, like a small semi. Okay. That's pretty large, though. Honestly, it's, it's quite probably, large. It's probably and a they're dragon. Very fast. And quick, yeah. I was gonna say the fast And they hit ones like fucking annoying. trucks sometimes, most of the times. God damn it! Thank God I have a shield. Ugh. Shields and blocking are for cowards. <laughs> Says the guy who died to the Joe. Team. Why don't you play D and D with us? I don't know. <laughs> Do you have any interest in that? Somewhat. You ever played before? Nope. It's pretty it, can, can you say more than one word at a time? I'm sorry. I'm trying to multitask and I'm baked. It's it's a difficult situation. <laughs> Man, that's what this show has been tonight. Just, <laughs> yeah. That's what this <laughs> show always is. My best. <laughs> it's pretty much that's all our podcast <laughs> is, Joe. <laughs> Oh, I mean, y yes, I have somewhat interest, but extended things like over the internet, not really my jam. Mm -hmm. well, if it was a sit down game, I'd be much more inclined. Like it was actually live, the board game edition? Yeah. I hear you too. I hear you too. I was looking for uh, DM equipment, I guess. I uh, found a brand new game store in my uh, in my town. Ooh, they run nice. uh, D and D Adventures League games. It's pretty neat. That's badass. Uh, I'm thinking about dropping my Wednesday campaign that I'm currently doing. Ooh. The think... DM, he's trying. God bless his heart. But. <laughs> He, it's his first time DMing, and I don't think he did enough research before he started, and he seems kind of immature, and wow. his equipment is bad as well, so, like, his audio is laggy and shit. It, it, it's just, it, it's not the best experience, and I'd much rather play uh, an in-person game in a shop, in, like an Adventures League setting, than probably have to continue with that. That's fair. It is super fun, though, Joe. It's a lot of fun. Out. Every Saturday, I get stronger. You should tune in stronger. for the stream. 
Well, I also work on Saturdays, usually till 2, 2.30. Oh, that's fine. Well, that's around the time we start, so. Yeah, right. yeah. It's pretty... Tune into the stream. Yeah, check it out. See if it's something you might be interested oh, in fats. joining in. We're actually getting a new player on next time. What's up? Uh, so you've been... Have you been watching any more Heroes in Halfwood? No, I haven't. I've kind of slowed down on that a lot. Okay, fair enough. Check out, it's called Critical Role, but role as in R-O-L-E. Okay. Uh, it's a D&D podcast run by, it's a game with all voice actors. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. It's Super like Harmony Quest. <laughs> Uh, eh, not exactly. Harmon yeah. Quest, it's more so a very real D&D game, so it'll be kind of sort of like what we would be doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but it's all voice actors, so all the acting is super good, and the role-playing is, like, on point, and it's really funny. Uh, the first campaign I know is very famous that they ran, but I just started on their second campaign because it's more well produced. Mm -hmm. So just something to check out if you need something to watch. It's super funny, yeah. and all of the uh, voice actors are really awesome. Just playing their characters because they're voice actors. Right. So they just get super into it. Yeah, that's, that's what awesome. I was trying to do. Trying to get it. it, 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 it it's kind of nice to. Um, kind of see that it, it almost gives you like role playing tips to, mm -hmm. to play your character better you know awesome well I'd definitely check that out that sounds like a great thing critical role yeah but but not role as in a roll of dice role as an acting role right right R-O-L-E that's the pun <laughs> I get it <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Awesome. Anything you want to say to the podcast, Joe? Um, the Bandit Cloak accessory is really good in Monster Hunter World. <laughs> what does it do? Sweet tip. It makes you break monster parts really easily. Oh, that's good. Like, really, really easily. Ooh. I've broken, like, six things on this guy. Damn. What are you fighting? That's the arena parrot. So he's kind of a bitch. Yeah, I was going to say, that's Still. pussy mode. Oh, man. That game is cracked, though. It's pretty good. Oh, it's before... What's, that? What's the command to see how long we've been up? Uptime? Uptime. Ooh, that's a long one. Okay, yeah. We're doing well. One quick... That's, that's acceptable for a podcast. Agreed. I just want a quick shout out one more thing because I thought about it because of Grindfest. <gasps> the new Path of Exile League starts on <laughs> Friday. Oh <laughs> shit. Time to make money in Path game. Path of Exile's garbage. Did you just say hater? I feel like you definitely just have to like that kind of game. But it's elements of just, just, just Grindfest, hope for the best drop. But then you could sell the drop to other players for money. RuneScape ruined my spirit. Oh. Well, fuck your Joe, spirit. Did you play RuneScape? No, I never did. Consider I kind of wish lucky. I did. Because no, I feel like it'd be right lucky. up my alley. No, it's torture. Oh, speaking of video games, <laughs> this is relevant kind of to the podcast. We always talk video games. It's true. Um, the get. Uh, so I started a new job recently, struck up a conversation with this guy I now work with, uh -huh. talking about video games. What do you do, Joe? One of the first things out of his mouth is Super Mario RPG. Ha! <laughs> really? He's Steve. Yep. Yeah. Was it Steve? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Joe, what do you he do? Was a, he was a glasses-wearing nerd like Steve. Oh, that's funny. So it could have been. He's a cook, right? I, right now, I'm a cook. Like, uh, what, what level are we talking? Uh, like your basic fried eggs and French toast type stuff. Like a diner line cook? Kind of, but it's a fancy bread place. So it's all mm. fancy ingredients and such. So like a high-end. It's pender. pretty cool. Yeah. 
I have like, one of those right you, down the you're street. You're going to pay 11 $12 for anything you want to eat there. Yeah, but it's so worth it. Like, high-end diner food is the shit. It's quite good. And it's so I, clean. Uh, I went to culinary school. Uh, I tried my hand in the restaurant game, and I am not built to work in restaurants. <laughs> it's fucking tough. I'm exhausted it is, and all it's the time. It's very unrewarding. Yeah, in a way. You, you don't make a ton of money doing it. No, never. You'll never, you'll probably never make more than $20 an hour. That would be nice. <laughs> that's, that's a lot, actually. Well, yeah, if you're really good. Hmm. I make 12. But Solid. Yeah, so. I'm no See, work. I make 12, but I bet I don't work nearly as much, uh, nearly as hard as you do. I work long hours, and it's hot, but but I don't work as hard. It's enjoyable, for the time being, at least. It takes a special kind of person. That's all I'm saying. Well, yeah, Joe, I can never do you, it long term. When you visit again, you're going to have to uh, cook me some delicious food. I cooked you bacon last time. I know. How about you cook something for me? I'll cook some for you, but you gotta cook me some of your new, your, your new recipes, because clearly you're, you're like a chef now, right? No, no not, not a at chef. all. He's a cook. <laughs> damn it! Just trying to I get some create. damn eggs. I just turn the prepared stuff. Fats, I want, I want to take a flight out there. Do it. Hell yeah. When should I do it? Uh, not Christmas, but any other time. <laughs> give me no, give me give me a, like a goal. Uh fuck, I don't know. What month is it now? It is almost September. <laughs> I'm just stupid as fuck. I actually went to my phone for that when I have a computer and I should use my brain. Um I don't know. Uh Halloween. Is that too short? You can make that happen. Otherwise, well, there might be snow, but they have snow. Snow, it's legit. It's legit, yeah, yeah, you should make that happen. I'm gonna come down and teach you how to weed. Oh, God. You need to TJ me. I know how. No, you don't. Well, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, man. Either way, I think, speaking of weed and somehow food, I am starving, and I want to make this shitty recipe I found on the internet but it was really cheap it's gonna be awesome sounds like a great time <laughs> I'm so excited it's like I think we should chug a beer chug a beer damn it now I have to get one I'm definitely gonna stream Dragon Ball I want to tonight oh he left I found a beer. Haha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So you're gonna stream Dragon Ball tonight? Yeah, probably. I, I like I said, it was it's like a for honor. I've finally gotten to the point where I don't suck, so I feel I, I, it's fun again. <laughs> I might stop by and play a couple ranks alongside you. Nice. Until I rage quit. Hey. That's, dude, I was there. I I will admit to alt f ing quite a bit during Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, some, some matches, it's like you get the right kind of lag and it just puts you at enough of a disadvantage that you don't even feel like trying to come back from it. It's well, there's, there's that, but what I've, what I've found that has really helped is just natural experience. Like, just because I can tie it so specifically to For Honor that I was I really, 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 really bad. Like, I just, you know, you lose three in a row, three times in a row. It makes you want to turn off the game real quickly. Yeah. But as you experience, you start to catch the patterns of what do, what do people normally do with that character? When can I actually open them up? When do you just block instead of do that? Or, well, you know, a lot of shit like that. Beer shot. And I just have to say, I've gotten to the point where, you know, I've fought Vegeta a million fucking times. And it's just, it's so, it's getting easy. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god, that was terrible. Ugh. Ah, mine was more like a pint. <laughs> mine was really cold. I right, keep going. All right, that is it for the for the glory podcast. For the to 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 glory. I'm Fats. And I'm Mike Spam. And random person. Don't worry about who I am. All right, fair enough. There's just a creature in the in the Mind back. Mind business. Either way, let's go to the four o'clock process. We'll see you all later. I'm gonna stop this. Oh, bye.